Now, are you ready to take the plunge with me? The science behind ice baths and cold showers. 10 Surprising Benefits Cold water immersion is more commonly known as ice baths. It has become really popular now. As well, it's been routinely used by athletes after sports events for recovery. But, did you know it's been around since ancient times? Many countries and cultures have been doing ice baths for ages. Popular known countries such as Sweden, Norway, Finland, and Russia just to name a few. Also, there's a place called Yakutsk, which is in the eastern part of Siberia. Yakutsk is actually the coldest city in the world, and the winter temperatures can dip down to minus 70 degrees Celsius. That's minus 94 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, can you imagine that? That's crazy. So, naturally people that live in cold temperatures in those areas have adapted to ice baths, becoming a lifestyle and like a tradition in their culture. There are tons of scientific facts that dipping into icy water, usually around 10 degrees Celsius, for about 5 to 10 minutes has tons of health benefits and a reason for the growing popularity. Research has shown benefits in winter bathing that helps lower risk of infections, reduce inflammation, better stress control, and with dementia and depression. Alright guys, let's dive into the health benefits of ice baths or cold showers as it gives you many health benefits. Also. I'll be discussing vital tips with your mental preparation, breathing techniques, and a few other things. So let's take the plunge first on the benefits. 1. It's a huge boost in your metabolism. To this day, scientists are still learning about our body. It's so complex, intelligent. Think about it. There are estimated 1 trillion cells in our body and 200 billion galaxies out there. So there are at least 800 billion more cells in your body than there are galaxies in the known universe. So, your body will produce extra energy to stay warm. Your metabolism increases massively once it enters the cold water. This effect is significant when it enters water below about 16 degrees Celsius. Scientists have experimented with three different ranges of temperatures for bath. And here are the numbers. 32 degrees Celsius, no change in metabolism. 20 degrees Celsius, jumped by plus 93%, nearly doubled. And 14 degrees Celsius jumped by plus 350%, more than quadruple. So in return, your metabolism will increase. It will help you maintain a healthy weight and your body repairs itself so much more faster. So needless to say, you can definitely benefit from an ice bath or cold shower. Two, improve your cardiovascular health and resting heart rate. So when your skin touches the cold or freezing water, there are many systems in your body that begin to work hard. So it wants to prevent you from losing valuable internal heat. It's like a defense mechanism. The most astounding effect is that all the blood vessels near your skin contract from the major veins to the capillaries to keep the warm blood inside where your internal organs need the heat. On the flip side, when you're very hot, these vessels dilate to help you lose this heat as quickly as possible. These blood vessels are made of muscle, smooth muscle, as opposed to skeletal muscles like your biceps or heart muscle. And all of these can be trained to be more fit with the right sort of exercise. We have skeletal muscle, regular exercise such as weightlifting or calisthenics, heart muscle, cardio, exercising like running, cycling or rowing, and smooth muscle, switching between heat and cold. So clearly a benefit of cold baths or cold showers is to train these smooth muscles. It's beneficial for athletes and for those more prone such as family health history of heart disease. Sure, we all like to admire our smooth muscles like the biceps, but experienced cold bathers often report a lower resting heart rate, a measurement correlated with cardiovascular health. Some people even take this a step further by switching a few times between hot and freezing cold. This is a contrast bathing. Although to improve your tolerance, it's best to always finish with cold. Please note, it's best to use kind of like a progressive overload system, such as for example, weight training when you add pounds on your bench press over time, when you're able to handle it adequately. When you feel you're ready, you then decide to increase your weight in a safe manner with full control. So it goes with cold baths or cold showers by increasing your duration in those conditions in a safe manner. Remember to always consult with a physician first or health expert in this field if you are not used to cold exposure or have symptoms of heart disease as the stress of this training might be too much for your body. 3. How to control your breathing under stress. 
It's not surprising your natural response for your body when you enter freezing water is to tense up, panic, shiver, and breathe too rapidly and shallow. There's a feeling of no control as your sympathetic nervous system is activated very strongly. It's telling you, get out of there right away. What are you doing? You're in a foreign environment that is freezing. There's like an emergency signal in your head alerting you. But with gradual practice, you can train your breathing with slow, deep breaths. This activates your parasympathetic nervous system, allowing it to rest and relax. Your sympathetic nervous system is amazing, but if you often feel overwhelmed by things, cold showers can teach your body to react less. So with ice baths or cold showers, you can avoid the shivering by breathing the right way. And of course, not overdo it by staying in too long. Remember, just like progressive overload I mentioned earlier, you gotta train and build your way up. Four, having a clear mind. Clearness and mental sharpness is a huge plus. Who doesn't value productivity in our work or our personal lives? Ice baths and cold showers can give this to us. The effect on your physiology from a cold shower in the morning includes initial vasoconstriction, then increased blood flow to organs and the skin as well, reflex deep breathing and increased oxygen intake, faster heart rate, adrenaline release, all of which can give you a boost and energy and metabolism and mental lift. Just as noradrenaline helps with your mood, it also boosts your concentration and cognitive ability. 5. Improves your skin and hair. Studies made by scientists and dermatologists concluded that ice baths or cold showers can help our skin by preventing it from losing too many natural oils. Also, you can avoid this by washing your face in cool or lukewarm water and avoid washing it too long with hot water. Also, your hair will look strong, healthy, and shiny by keeping the fallacies flat and increasing the grip to the scalp. 6. Boost your mood and combat depression. All you have to do is try it one time and I guarantee you will feel totally different and see the positive effects on your mood afterwards. Our emotions are controlled by various chemicals in the brain, such as serotonin and noradrenaline. Depression has been heavily linked to these. A dramatic effect of cold exposure increases noradrenaline levels tremendously, although only when the water is colder than about 16 degrees Celsius. For example, a 10 degrees Celsius bath will have a much stronger effect than a 20 degrees Celsius bath. Another reason is that inflammation is reduced by cold exposure. Inflammation in the brain blocks the transmission of chemicals related to our mood, which includes serotonin. 7. Sleep more easily. There has been constant debate whether cold showers can help you sleep. Personally for myself, I've had positive and immediate effects. It's always been hard to sleep for a good chunk of my life until I've been adopting cold baths and showers the last 15 years. So we've seen that cold water causes a burst of noradrenaline, which increases heart rate and energy production. So this doesn't really sound the best thing before sleep, right? However, on the other side of things, it does reduce your body temperature, which will help prepare your body to sleep. So, if you're in a hot environment, then taking a cool shower, let's just say not much colder than 20 degrees Celsius, can help you sleep. But if you take an intense freezing shower just before bed, then that's a different story and you'll probably stay awake for a while. 8. Boost your immune system. The way cold exposure boosts the immune system is complex, but there are studies that provide concrete evidence for this. Scientific research discussed about white blood cell production caused by the adrenaline release that you get during the cold shower. On the other hand, if your body is already fighting a disease, the cold can actually be an unwelcome stress. For some illnesses such as fevers, the body heats itself up to kill the virus. So cold showers, especially long ones, hinder its ability to do this. And for a head such as colds, infections such as your urinary system, such as kidneys, bladder, urethra, and other infections of the skin or extremities, the cold makes the blood vessels contract around exposed parts of your body, which obviously hinders the body's ability to deliver the disease fighting white blood cells to the affected areas. 9. Improve your tolerance to the cold. So people that live in colder climates such as Sweden, Norway, Finland, 
Russia and Canada, for example, are more prone or used to the cold because they've adopted to their environment. The body is extremely intelligent and versatile, but as well, you have to build it up over time so it will be tolerant to the cold. We also have uh, people who have to expose themselves to the cold, such as outdoor workers in a cold environment. Or you have winter swimmers, people that live in colder climates, and so on. All of them will tell you that they feel the cold less than others. A good explanation is that the heat producing brown adipose tissue, which is brown fat, increases with repeated exposure to the cold. There is actually a study with Wim Hof, as we know is very experienced with the cold, and he has a twin brother who is not so experienced with the cold. Both reported similar levels of brown fat and of cold thermogenesis, but with the correct training, people such as Wim Hof have been able to do incredible feats, such as bathing in a container of ice for more than an hour. 10. Overall health as you age. Many diseases in old age are caused by chronic inflammation. This is where inflammatory proteins swarm around the body even when there's no threat or injury for them to remedy. The noradrenaline released during deep cold, that is about below 16 degrees Celsius, has yet another beneficial effect in reducing this dangerous inflammation. So this is a huge plus for older people. So guys, lots of good health to you all and everyone have amazing 2022. Let's do this with a positive attitude and whatever you plan to do. All the best and take care guys. See you soon in the next video.